Hello everyone out there in the YouTube space, I am John Bender Waffles Aljets, and today I'm going to show you a very quick little thing, uh, and that is simply how to convert your VX Ace files to MV files. Now this is something that you can do natively, well kind of natively, it's a little bit of a roundabout thing, and they haven't really talked about your ability to do it, but if you own MV, you have the tools necessary to do this. So if you'll notice, uh, if you've been watching my RPG Maker tutorials, you'll see that I actually have the uh, world map that we created in those tutorials, and it is within MV. This is MV. This is not VX Ace. This is VX Ace. So there is a bit of a difference. Um, and we're going to be going over those differences in a later episode. I'm actually going to be releasing one, I believe, either tomorrow or the next day that's going to be showing the differences between MV and VX Ace and whether it's worth upgrading. But for now, we're going to sh I'm going to show you how to uh, convert your projects. So the first thing you're going to do is within MV, you're going to want to create a new project. This is very simple. We're just going to, uh, I'm going to call it LOC because that's, the project that I'm choosing to convert. Click OK, and it'll start up. It's a little thingy. That's going to take a while. While that's going, we're going to jump over to VXAce, and we are going to load the project that we want to convert. So, OK, I need to actually get into that. Documents, RPG Maker VXAce, LOC, open it up. So, once this choose through and opens up some stuff yeah you see different world map different project so you're going to then within VXACE open up your script editor and you're gonna go down and you'll see this little insert thing here I'm going to be deleting this but first we actually have to get the uh, script that we need to use and you'll go to your computer go to wherever you have MV installed i have it through steam so i'm going to go down here to steam steam apps common uh mv there it is dlc rpg maker web plugins shaz and there it is ace mv converter now this is a rb file if you don't have a program that can open that up, that's fine. You can right click and open with and choose notepad. Uh, different windows will have different uh, interfaces that you'll have to deal with, but you can get it going. Open it up with WordPad, and this is the script that we need. Just hit Control A and Control C, copy that. You can close the script now, and you can go back into VXAs, find that open spot. I'm choosing to replace this script and we're going to do control v now it's in there we're going to name it something pretty i'm choosing to name it ace to mv converter i'm pretty sure the name does not matter so you just we're all good there click apply click ok now i'm going to really quickly uh go through here and make sure that you guys don't get your ears exploded okay good the volume is all the way down uh, by my menu screen because we're going to just run the game. We're going to make sure you save your changes, run it, and all it has to do is it just has to get to this title screen. Once we're at the title screen, we can then close the game and you can navigate to your game, to your VX Ace Projects folder. And you'll see that there's now a folder called MV Data. Just open that up and we got all of these JSON files. Now we're going to jump back over to MV and we are going to open the folder for this project. We're going to go to data, and now we see, look, there's a bunch of JSON files. We'll go back to the folder that has the MV data, copy all of these. If you have custom scripts, you might have to copy that. Right click, copy, and paste. Replace all of these files. You can close the MV data now, and you can close that one too. And what I'd say to do is close your project, and then reopen it. Now look, our map, it is there. And you will also see, if you go into the database, we kind of have actors. 
their graphics are gone because the graphics normally can't copy over. You're going to have to do some file folder wizardry to do that, but that's not that difficult. Our classes transferred over, our skills transferred over, items, weapons, our maps, everything, you know, that's important. Wow, they're looking kind of sparse. I need to go back and continue working on this. But there you go, guys. That is how you convert a VX Ace project to MV. There are some finer details, like if you have a project that has custom scripts, you're going to have to figure out how to transfer over your own comments and things of that nature. There is, uh, There are other resources online, written guides and things of that nature that can help you out with that. But I wanted to do a very quick tutorial for you guys so that you can see how to do this and to help you guys out. So if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment down below letting me know what you didn't like. Uh, you guys can support me on Patreon by clicking the button to the, I believe that's left of me. Uh, that's if you really, really liked it and you want to support me directly. Otherwise, you guys can just subscribe and don't forget to have a wonderful day.